Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Training Think Tank, aka United Performance. My name is Noah Olsen, nine-time CrossFit Games athlete. We are here throwing down for quarterfinals. I just smashed events. I don't even know, one, two, or three, whichever one it is. We're out here getting better, getting fitter, and ready to smash it. All right, guys, that's it. So let's jump into the workout. Hold well on, dude. Oh. I got to film the intro. Dude, don't worry about it. I got you covered. I already did it. Oh, all right. Thanks, man. Welcome back everyone. We finally made it to quarterfinals. I am here in Alpharetta, Georgia at Training Think Tank taking on five workouts over the next five days. I'm probably gonna try to knock them all out before Friday afternoon. So we'll do two or three tonight, Thursday night, and then the rest of them Friday morning and afternoon. That way I've got all day Saturday, Sunday to cheer on my friends and then we'll head back to Miami. As long as I finish in the top, I think 40 to 60, something like that, in the East region, I'll qualify for the semifinal event, which is the final round before the CrossFit Games, and that's going down in Orlando, Florida, on May 18th. In the meantime, we've got five workouts. They've already been announced. The first one is squatting and handstand stuff. The second one is dumbbell snatches, lunges, and crossover single unders. Third one, we've got burpee box jump overs and heavy clean and jerks. We've got some rowing and GHD sit-ups, and then we wrap it up with heavy deadlifts and variations of pulling, pull-ups, bar muscle-ups, rope climbs, ton of variety of fitness for the next five days. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and we'll see you back in Miami. We're gonna take on test number one of the 2023 quarterfinals. Let's go. Just wrapped up workout number one for quarterfinals. Whew, it was a bunch of front squats, handstand walking, muscle ups, and wall facing handstand push ups. And that last part threw me for a loop. 
I felt pretty good on the front squats. They definitely were burning the legs, but where I really got hung up was my triceps. Started feeling it a little bit on the muscle ups, but mostly on the wall facing handstand pushups. I was hoping to do maybe like 11, 10 on those, if not unbroken, heck no. I think I did five, that was a reality check. And then it was six, five, three, two, something along those lines. Um, just like a lot of tricep fatigue. It's a little bit of a different position than a regular handstand pushup. I've practiced them, but not to the extent where I'm super comfortable doing them under fatigue. So it was interesting. I think it went relatively well. I finished under seven minutes. Um, I'm pleased. I didn't make any major mistakes. Maybe took more breaks and rested longer than I would have liked to, but for what I had right now, I think that was the best I got. Test number two we're going to do tonight is dumbbell snatches, overhead walking lunges, and crossover single unders. I've been practicing those a lot, so I'm excited to put them to the test, literally. I think that should be fun. If it doesn't get too, too late tonight, Thursday night, the day all the workouts came out, we might do test number three as well, which is uh, burpee box jump overs and clean and jerks at 275. We'll see how that goes, but so far so good. Off to a solid start for quarterfinals. One down, four to go. Workout number two, we've got a 12 minute AMRAP. Dumbbell snatches all on the right arm, eight of them, eight lunge steps down with the right arm, switch, left arm, eight dumbbell snatches, lunge down, left arm, 40 crossover single unders. That's one round, as many rounds as you can in 12 minutes. We're kicking things off here in the next few minutes. Oh man, I wanted to finish seven rounds. I think I was 14 crossovers short. I rested a lot. I was tired. I felt like I needed the breaks between picking up the dumbbell in order to keep everything moving. And it cost me the round. Not bad. Thanks, brother. What was that final score? Just a couple 490, that's all. Not too shabby. No. Dang, I wanted to finish seven. You were close, man. <sighs> I rested a lot. I was just saying I needed it though. 
Thanks. There was not a lot of like non movement. I mean, before I picked up the dumbbell, every time I like. Yeah, but you made it through every round of the thing. Except the different. first rep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted seven. Bad. I actually I mess up in my mind. I thought finishing the lunges finished the round. So I hustled to finish the lunges thinking that ended round seven. And then my dubs were all bonus into the next round. Or not dubs, but whatever those are. <laughs> Wrong! They happen so fast, the crossovers, that I probably didn't even need a full 14 seconds to finish. I probably needed 10 more seconds to get 14 more. And I definitely rested way more than that in between. Darn it. All good. Gotta be pleased for now. On to the next one. Should we do one more tonight? I need to refuel if that's the case. Did you say you're doing one more tonight? Maybe. Broski. I kind of want to do the jump and CJ. I don't know. Por qué? Por qué no? Por sa? Por si? Por la? Okay. What's this? Uh, este? Que este? este? My calvesies? Yeah. They feel fine. Yeah? Your feet and your legs? The only thing... <clears throat> It is my like energy levels. Like that fatigued me more than I thought it would. We're knocking out the third workout tonight. Keeping the tradition alive, I've done three on the first day the last two years, may as well keep rolling with it. We've got five rounds for time, five ruby box jump overs on a 30 inch box. One clean and jerk at 275. You increase a rep on the clean and jerks every round. So the last round, we'll have five clean and jerks. Hoping to keep those power the whole time. Split jerk, I think it should be pretty quick. Hopefully, let's see. There to there, five foot line, 30 inch box. Dude, these guys Pop. go across. I think I don't know. I saw them doing it as well. One key across, 24 standard road box. We've got a road 20 kilo bar. There's a 25 pound plate. A 45, you don't have to take that off because it's on the inside. 45 here, 45 on the inside of this one. 25, and if you can just slide that one, I can show the inside for you. We're good to go. 45, good to go.
That's it. That's a wrap for tonight. See you tomorrow. Two more to go. Thanks, Big Dog. Thank you for staying. I appreciate it. Of course, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Try to be. Thanks for everything, John. I owe you my life. Thank you guys for staying. Appreciate you. Great job. That felt pretty solid. Bam! That's a wrap on day one of quarterfinals this year. We did three workouts on day one like we have the last couple years. It's 9.30 p.m., which feels a little, uh, I don't know, silly, different, but felt good. I think we executed well on all three workouts. I'm pretty pleased for the most part. Obviously, always room for improvement. Anyway, we got two more workouts that we'll get done tomorrow, and then technically we'll have Saturday, Sunday, Monday completely off to just cheer everybody else on and have some fun. Explore Alpharetta, Georgia. We haven't been up here in a while, so I'm excited for that. Had a lot of fun today. Got to work out with a lot of my old friends. Wife you was here to cheer me on, which is very exciting. I think this is the first competition you've got to watch me in person since we've been married. It's awesome. Um, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Day two, workouts four and five. Day two, quarterfinals, workout number four is a 20 minute AMRAP of 1,000 meter row, 50 GHD sit-ups, 500 meter row, 25 B-ups, as many rounds as you can in 20 minutes, starting very soon. Olsen quarterfinals workout number four. We've got our 20 minute AMRAP rowing and sit ups. Uh, there's the rower, there's the GHD. I guess I gotta show some measurements. From the mat all the way to the top of the pad is exactly 40. We've got a couple little pads under there. Should be good to go. Solid. I think I paced it well. I was just like, you play the game on the rower, where if you go a little too fast, you could end up being super fatigued and going slower at the end. I tried to play it where I was like, fast enough, but still had some energy to really sprint the last set. Tried to, and tried to pick it up at the end. Whew. 
Thanks, my man. Two cheers for me. Whew. Glad you guys were here for that. Love you. Ah, you do your thing. All right. Sorry, I'm all sweaty. Nice job, ladies. I think you guys got me. I know, we did. Thanks, buddy. But with a thing in there. Oh, tummy, feel it? Yeah, you did. Thank you. I needed that. Good job. Oh, thanks, guys. Huh? One more, huh? One more. Last one, best one, they say, too. Ah, oh, 580 sounds better than 579. Give me one more second. All right, thanks, baby. It's a good number. The grand finale, workout five of quarterfinals. We have a 21-15-9 for time, increasing weight deadlift, increasing complexity pulling, goes chest to bar, bar muscle up, rope climb. My goal is sub five. Let's see if we can do it. Love you. Good job. Mm -hmm. Last one, best one. So they say. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Four fifty. Where did you look? Hey, you did great. I was like, because our video matched. Okay. It's okay. Good work. Yeah. It's awesome. You're done. Scott trying to kiss me. Get out of here. <laughs> Got you at four forty-eight. Oh, I'll take it. All right. Even better. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Already done. Huh? Felt pretty good. That's it. I want to do more. <laughs> well, luckily, What's next? Luckily. And just like that. It's over. That was my last individual quarterfinals ever. I had a lot of fun with it. Feels good. Slightly relieving, slightly bittersweet, but I know I'll have a lot more opportunities to do it. Now just with the team, which is almost even more exciting. Okie dokie smokey, that does it for the 2023 quarterfinals. We did all five tests in 24 hours. It's 6 p.m. on Friday. We started a little late yesterday, but I had a lot of fun. For me, this week was super low pressure. I was just trying to qualify for the next stage and have as much fun as I could. Did it with as many friends as I could, cheered on as many people in between as I could. 
successfully executed on all fronts there. I now have Saturday, Sunday, Monday to just hang out, cheer everybody on, go explore the Atlanta area before we go back to Miami. I now have the rest of March, all of April, and half of May to get ready for semifinals, which are in Orlando on May 18th. Hopefully, I finish in the top eight to 15 there and qualify for my 10th consecutive CrossFit Games. I'm excited, it's been an awesome season so far. I think it's only gonna continue to get better. Thank you to all of you guys for following along on the journey. Hopefully the content's been engaging. If you guys wanna see more stuff that's like educational instead of just this action stuff of these weekends, let me know. We're gonna have that two month period back home. I can film whatever you want. Uh, but that's it. I appreciate all the love and support. I really love what I get to do. I feel like I'm super grateful for this opportunity and you guys make that the case for me. So thank you. Until next time, see ya.